the shift from the private realm to the public eye can be daunting. There will be numerous parties involved, including advisors, valuers, and regulators. In addition, there will also be extensive requests of data and documents for disclosures in the prospectus. The tight deadline and the requests for documents and information may be quite challenging if the organization is not well prepared. IPO candidates must tell a compelling equity story. Investors will scrutinize your company and its bottom line performance much more closely than before. Investors see companies with business models that perform well, hold a solid track record, and have an actionable plan to sustain growth. The equity story must be supported by historical financial information, demonstrating the trends underpinning the equity story and building a bridge to management's business plan. When the equity story is established, the company should decide which KPIs to measure and monitor. You must also consider whether there is an appetite within the investment community for your equity story. The bottom line is that your IPO valuation will be driven by solid financial performance, market condition, and investor confidence in your management team. Company is going to IPO for various reasons and with various objectives. One of the objectives is to gain access to tax concessions. An optimum IPO structure should therefore be considered carefully as it can have a significant tax impact on the company. It can also save tax or prevent a company from incurring unnecessary tax. In order to obtain optimum structures, company need to understand the gap between the current structures and the intended IPO structures. Once the gap is identified, consider alternatives to optimize the current structures. This can be done by way of either merger, spin-off, or other initiatives. The restructure needs to be decided early in the process so it can be implemented before the IPO. Lastly, and importantly, improve tax function so they are appropriate for a public company status and can meet the demand for transparency. Corporate governance is at the top of the agenda for investors, regulators, and boards. Closely related to good corporate governance is not only how companies comply with laws and regulations, but also how they manage to be good corporate citizens amidst at times unclear or outdated overlapping regulations. Compliance with laws and regulations is a common key indicator of all quality companies. Now more than ever, a strong corporate governance function, including the transparency of related party transactions and attractive qualified independent boards are critical. Top companies are those which adopt the appropriate corporate governance practices that will protect shareholders and the wider stakeholders' interests. To achieve an efficient pre- and post-IPO structure, as well as a clean legal bill of health that shows readiness to have public shareholders as owners, require companies working closely with their legal counsel on all structuring as well as compliance and corporate governance issues. We as legal counsel can help ensure not only that all the pre-IPO legal matters are handled in an efficient and effective way, but also that the experience of transitioning from being a closely held non-listed company to an open listed one is a smooth journey. Becoming a public company requires a significant shift in focus for the finance function. This means that there's a need for strong competencies in accounting, financial disclosures, financial controls, corporate governance, budgeting and forecast, investor relations, treasury, internal controls, and compliances to meet the financial demands of the new regulatory, marketing, and strategic environment. Areas of change will include new and expanded financial disclosures to meet the requirements of the accounting standards and the OJK regulations. The frequency of reporting, the speed of financial close, and financial guidance to investors and analysts. Accurate and timely financial reporting, as well as effective internal controls, are vital in a public company. Go public is an essential step to accelerate your company's growth. Most importantly, deciding the right market
for your IPO. As a growing G20 member with geographical advantage for trade and investment, Indonesia would be a promising market. Being one of the fastest growing exchange in Asia, Indonesia Stock Exchange has been consistently improving its technological capabilities and supportive regulations as well as streamlining its IPO process. Combined with the growing numbers of companies and investors, we strongly believe that Indonesia Stock Exchange would be the most desirable venue to harness benefits of IPO. It is one of our mission to be a part of your company's journey to grow along with Indonesia capital market through IPO. Go big with Go Public. Preparing for an IPO is like choreographing an intricate ballet. Just as a ballet is constructed from individual dance steps and musical notes, the IPO consists of separate elemental processes that are interdependent on one another. Every part of the company plays an important role and each contribution must be coordinated and staged precisely. Strong leaders, careful planning and talented performers can make the difference between failure and a winning performance.